Emotions often seem to take the driver's seat, steering us through a roller coaster of highs and lows. Yet, there's a profound wisdom in the ancient teachings of Buddhism that suggests a different path, one of emotional detachment. This doesn't mean suppressing or denying emotions, but rather cultivating a balanced perspective and a serene mind in the face of life's ups and downs. In this video, we delve into the spiritual teachings of Buddhism to unravel the secrets of how to become emotionless in a way that fosters inner peace, resilience, and self-awareness. 1. Be less understanding of others' feelings. Understanding others' feelings is a hallmark of empathy, a quality highly valued in today's society. However, Buddhism teaches us that excessive attachment to the emotional experiences of others can lead to suffering. It doesn't advocate for callousness but suggests finding a middle ground where compassion is balanced with emotional distance. When we become too entangled in the emotional lives of others, their highs and lows start to dictate our own inner state. The key is to maintain a compassionate distance, a perspective that allows us to support others without being swept away by their emotional currents. While empathy and understanding are important qualities, excessive concern for others' feelings can lead to emotional exhaustion and a loss of self. In this chapter, we will explore the concept of healthy boundaries and the importance of prioritizing our own emotional well-being. By learning to set limits and not taking on the emotional burdens of others excessively, we can cultivate emotional balance and protect our own energy. By embracing this lesson, we can develop healthier relationships and preserve our own emotional stability. 2. Don't always be there for everyone. In a world that glorifies constant availability and self-sacrifice, Buddhism offers a different perspective. While being supportive is virtuous, being constantly available to everyone can lead to emotional exhaustion. The teachings encourage setting healthy boundaries to protect our own well-being. It's not about abandoning others but recognizing the importance of self-care. By understanding that our emotional bandwidth is finite, we can choose when and how to be there for others, ensuring that we don't lose ourselves in the process. Constantly being available for others can lead to emotional burnout and neglecting our own needs. In this chapter, we will explore the importance of setting boundaries and learning to say no when necessary. By prioritizing our own well-being and taking care of ourselves, we can create a healthy balance between supporting others and maintaining our own emotional stability. By embracing this lesson, we can cultivate a sense of self-care and preserve our own emotional energy. 3. Release the pressure you put on yourself. The relentless pursuit of perfection and societal expectations often create a breeding ground for stress and emotional turmoil. Buddhism advocates for the release of self-imposed pressure urging individuals to embrace imperfection as an inherent part of the human experience. The path to emotional detachment involves acknowledging our limitations and letting go of the need for constant achievement. By cultivating self-compassion and embracing a mindset of acceptance, we free ourselves from the chains of unrealistic expectations, paving the way for a more serene emotional landscape. Buddhism teaches us the importance of letting go of self-imposed pressure and expectations. In this chapter, we will explore how the pursuit of perfection and constant self-criticism can lead to emotional turmoil. By practicing self-compassion and acceptance, we can release the pressure we put on ourselves and find emotional peace. By embracing this lesson, we can foster a healthier relationship with ourselves and experience greater emotional well-being. 4. Don't measure yourself against others. Comparison is a thief of joy as the saying goes. Buddhism emphasizes the futility of measuring our worth against the achievements and possessions of others. In the pursuit of emotional detachment, it's crucial to recognize that each individual's journey is unique. By understanding that external markers of success are transient and often misleading, we can redirect our focus inward. Instead of seeking validation from external sources, Buddhism encourages us to measure our progress based on our own values, fostering a sense of inner fulfillment independent of societal expectations. Comparing ourselves to others is a common source of emotional distress. Buddhism encourages us to let go of the habit of comparison and focus on our own unique journey. In this chapter, we will explore how cultivating self-acceptance and embracing our individual strengths 
can lead to emotional balance. By letting go of comparison, we can cultivate a sense of contentment and find joy in our own accomplishments. By embracing this lesson, we can experience greater emotional resilience and self-empowerment. 5. Focus on yourself first. In a society that often glorifies selflessness, the concept of focusing on oneself might seem counterintuitive. However, Buddhism teaches that true selflessness arises from a foundation of self-awareness and inner peace. To be of genuine service to others, we must first cultivate a strong, balanced inner self. This involves investing time and energy in personal growth, introspection, and self-care. By prioritizing our well-being, we fortify ourselves emotionally, making it easier to navigate the complexities of human interactions without being overwhelmed by external influences. Buddhism teaches us that self-care is essential for emotional well-being. In this chapter, we will explore the importance of prioritizing our own needs and nurturing our own happiness. By practicing self-care, we can recharge our emotional batteries and be better equipped to support others. By embracing this lesson, we can cultivate a greater sense of self-worth and emotional stability. 6. Here without getting too emotional. Active listening is a valuable skill, but Buddhism encourages us to listen without attaching ourselves too closely to the emotional content of the conversation. This doesn't mean being indifferent, but rather maintaining a calm and objective stance. By practicing mindful listening, we can engage with others empathetically without absorbing their emotional energy. This allows for a deeper connection without the risk of being carried away by the emotional currents of the conversation. Active listening is a valuable skill in cultivating emotional balance. In this chapter, we will explore how to listen to others without allowing their emotions to overwhelm us. By cultivating mindful listening, we can be present for others while maintaining our own emotional stability. By embracing this lesson, we can enhance our communication skills and foster deeper connections without being overly influenced by others' emotions. 7. Remove negative people from your life. Buddhism places a strong emphasis on the company we keep. Toxic relationships can significantly impact our emotional well-being, hindering the path to detachment. While it's not always feasible to cut ties completely, setting boundaries and limiting exposure to negative influences is essential. Detaching emotionally from toxic relationships doesn't mean abandoning compassion. It's an act of self-preservation, creating space for positive energy and emotional equilibrium to flourish. In the absence of constant negativity, the journey towards emotional detachment becomes more achievable. The people we surround ourselves with greatly impact our emotional well-being. Buddhism encourages us to cultivate positive relationships and remove negative influences from our lives. In this chapter, we will explore the importance of setting healthy boundaries and surrounding ourselves with supportive and uplifting individuals. By embracing this lesson, we can create a positive and nurturing environment that supports our emotional balance. 8. Do kind things for others. Paradoxically, one of the paths to emotional detachment lies in cultivating kindness. Engaging in selfless acts of kindness not only benefits others, but also creates a positive emotional reservoir within ourselves. Buddhism teaches that true detachment is not about isolation, but rather a balanced engagement with the world. By actively seeking opportunities to help others, we break free from the chains of self-centered emotional attachment. The joy derived from acts of kindness becomes a source of genuine fulfillment, independent of external validation. Acts of kindness not only benefit others, but also contribute to our own emotional well-being. In this chapter, we will explore the transformative power of compassion and generosity. By engaging in acts of kindness, we can cultivate a sense of connection, empathy, and joy. By embracing this lesson, we can experience greater emotional satisfaction and a deeper sense of purpose. 9. Be thankful for what you have. Gratitude is a powerful antidote to the emotional roller coaster of desire and dissatisfaction. Buddhism encourages a mindset of appreciation for the present moment and the simple joys of life. By focusing on what we have rather than what we lack, we cultivate contentment and reduce the emotional turbulence caused by unfulfilled desires. Practicing gratitude becomes a cornerstone of emotional detachment helping us break free from the perpetual cycle of craving and disappointment. 
It redirects our attention towards the abundance that already exists in our lives. Gratitude is a cornerstone of emotional balance in Buddhism. By appreciating what we have, we shift our focus from lacking to abundance. Cultivating gratitude fosters contentment and diminishes the grip of negative emotions. Cultivating gratitude is a powerful practice for emotional balance. In this chapter, we will explore how to appreciate and be thankful for the present moment and the blessings in our lives. By shifting our focus from what is lacking to what we have, we can experience a profound sense of contentment and emotional fulfillment. By embracing this lesson, we can cultivate a positive mindset and foster emotional resilience. 10. Understand who you are. Central to the teachings of Buddhism is the journey of self-discovery. Understanding who we are at a fundamental level is key to achieving emotional detachment. This involves a deep exploration of our values, beliefs, and motivations. Self-reflection and introspection are fundamental in Buddhism. Understanding our strengths, weaknesses, values, and desires enables us to navigate emotions with clarity. It fosters a deeper connection with oneself, leading to emotional resilience. By gaining insight into our own psyche, we become less susceptible to external influences that can trigger emotional reactions. Self-awareness becomes a shield against the storms of life, allowing us to navigate challenges with a sense of inner calm. Self-understanding is a key aspect of emotional balance. In this chapter, we will explore the importance of self-reflection and gaining insight into our thoughts, emotions, and patterns of behavior. By understanding ourselves more deeply, we can develop greater self-compassion, emotional intelligence, and resilience. By embracing this lesson, we can cultivate a sense of authenticity and find emotional balance in all aspects of our lives. Buddhism offers a roadmap that transcends the superficial notions of suppressing or denying emotions. It beckons us to embrace a profound understanding of ourselves and the world around us, fostering a state of equanimity in the face of life's inevitable fluctuations. Buddhism guides us toward embracing emotions without being ruled by them. By integrating these teachings into our lives, we can foster emotional balance and cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves and others. The journey to becoming emotionless, in the Buddhist sense, is not about suppressing emotions but about transcending their control over our lives, leading us to a state of equanimity and profound inner peace. As we weave these lessons into the fabric of our lives, we discover that emotional detachment is not synonymous with apathy, but rather a liberation from the shackles of unchecked emotional reactions. It's a journey towards inner peace, resilience, and a deeper connection with the essence of our own being, a journey guided by the timeless wisdom of Buddhism.